Hello, my name is Rivas Mayoki and I wanted to talk about hobbies some more. The difference between a hobby and something you do. Striving to perfect it to become a professional, professional at it. Uh, one of the things I do as a hobby is my uh, jewelry making. That's such a hard word. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. <sighs> These endorments that hang from my ears. <laughs> Anyway, I made uh, five of them, uh, five pairs today, so I'm quite happy. I had uh, nice pearls. I like the most when I uh, get a necklace someone didn't want to wear, full of beautiful pearls that are just uh, poorly constructed. They didn't uh, made it, I just made it to not look the best. So I love when I divide it and make something new and beautiful. This is the new earring. Ah. This one I think will be alone. It will be just one. Anyway, uh, making jewelry, 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 oh, terrible. Uh, making uh, there's no other word to make it my easier for myself. I will have to practice that word. Uh, designing adornments. Oh. <laughs> uh, I just uh, I tried twice. To make them for commercial use but when I have to do them I'm never quite as good when I just do them because I feel like it that day and that's why it's a hobby I, ne I don't think will ever grow into something else maybe if I don't know people want to buy the original pair but to make them to have them on a production line I don't know if someone else makes them <laughs> not me <laughs> Uh, but where am I? Where was I going with this? Yes, that's why I thought about writing as my hobby till 2015, because I did it. I did it every day, but it was like an hour a day. Just like it's a hobby, something you do to relax because you I had ideas, and even an hour a day over the course of 10 to 15 years brought me to have. I don't know, 500 pages drafts and many, many short stories. But after 2015, I committed to it. Like, okay, this is not a thing that will go away. It's not like making earrings that I can make five pairs a year or twice, twice a year and that's it. I'm satisfied with myself. No, it's something I want to do daily. It's something I really enjoy and I have good ideas. So I committed to it and uh, since 2015 I have a cycle of sorts. For a few months I go mad like writing from down to dusk <laughs> and uh, just constantly being plugged in and uh, in the world and somewhere else and just doing my chores like okay okay let's just I have to I, I am in the middle of the sentence now I and now <laughs> And then a few months of just making jewelry, watching shows and waiting for another strike of uh, inspiration to come along. So I've been uh, making room. I mentioned how I'm cleaning up my notebooks and I throw away so many things. But now I'm considering that I should throw out my uh, original manuscript for two novels, two romance novels I wrote since 2004 till I don't know 2017 <sighs> because it's in Croatian and it's on paper I have to transcribe it no matter what either on of course on English I will do it in English because when I that is the topic about the structure of the language I didn't seem able to edit myself in Croatian. That was the difference in 2015, among other things. Uh, exter external factors changed too, but in 2015 I started writing my original fiction in English. And I discovered that in English I feel much more at home, ironically. And uh, there is more than one way to say things and I managed to edit myself after the fact. Even the song poems, when I 
uh, trans uh, translated them to English, I was suddenly able to edit them, to make them better, to switch things around. When I write things in her Croatian, I don't know, is it because the Croatian is a more rigid language, which it is, it's quite uh, strict, how you tell things, and even the... the the way you construct sentences, it's quite rigid. Uh, what my friend uh, who encouraged me to write in English told me, uh, Croatian is a descriptive language. You can describe beautiful landscape, but it's not really an action-packed language. So, and I did grow up on English authors, and I do love, I write more action-packed novels, so English allowed me uh, to feel more com comfortable that my stories are not like rushed and poorly written, which they are kind of in Croatian because I'm not an author that is prone to too many descriptions. I think T Tolstoy ruined that for me. Levin lied in that grass for, to for far too long thinking and I just thought at that moment, no, descriptions, minimal, it's just a waste of space. <laughs> that was my take from Anna Karenina. Uh, anyway, this, uh, I will show it. Oh, I will show it, I didn't plan to talk about this, but I will show it. Look, <laughs> this is one of those romance novels written by hand. Uh, for years and I'm thinking to throw that all away without uh, transcribing it because I did that with Uplift, my Zoe, Zoe was the original title for Uplift and uh, it became so much better because I first threw away my uh, draft, my written draft and then I wrote it on the fly as much as I can remember and changing everything that I thought it needed changing. Because uh, I now I know I have to throw it away because it takes up a lot of space and I'm always like, I will, someday I will commit to it. But it's so long you saw it. I, I don't feel like it. And when I'm transcribing from my manuscript, I'm a slave to the way I wrote it. And I wrote it in 2004. A lot of things changed since 2004 and I think it would be better to write it anew like I never wrote it. That will be a first because I, Uplift, I did tr transcribe a part of it before I threw it away so this, so this would be on the fly. And the second one, oh, I will show that too. I already transcribed a part of it so it's thinner than it was. Uh, but that one, I'm thinking that I should trash it all together because Fifty Shades of Grey uh, came out in the meantime. And although I do not have BDSM um, uh, elements, the story is quite on the beat. It has a different outcome, but I don't know. I even had a beetle uh, that she wrote, drove. Although the outcome is quite different, I could write it, but it will always seem like I'm reacting to Fifty Shades of Grey when I was writing it years before Fifty, 50 Shades of Grey was even a thing. <laughs> That's the strange things about stories. We all, all take uh, inspiration from same sources, and uh, for that story, Cinderella is the obvious choice for uh, an inspiration. Anyway, I'm thinking to trash that, just to be lightweight and ready to move when things get moving, because every single thing you have consumes space. That's why I'm thinking that, like, jewelry, jewelry, oh, I can't do it. I, uh, earrings, that is the word that will help me. Earrings uh, are the part I like to do them the best because I like to wear them the best. I'm not much of a necklace person. So I give, I wear earrings for a while and then I give it to my friends and family uh, when I get uh, tired of them and get them in some picture. <laughs> so I can make new ones. Uh, I will have to think of something for my paintings. Because today I hung that huge painting I painted when I watched the football game. And I have no more space on my walls. 
I either have to get rid of some of my paintings to create space to hang new ones or I have to create a bigger space. I don't know, I even like the second option better. What do you think? Anyway, I'll be off for in see you around in some future when things are different. I think they are lovely. I just love that they are not the same. Lately I'm constantly doing earrings that they are not the same and I just I don't know. I love it. The main reason I'm doing earrings is because classic earrings that are symmetrical, feminine and like uh, elegant uh, features just don't suit me. So I make the ones that suit me well better. <laughs> anyway, see you around. Bye.